So a couple of people asking me about hotkeys, how they work, how to set them up, and different features that's in Dash Trader Pro. I've kind of figured out everything by people actually commenting or telling me about stuff, going online and looking at videos, tutorials, all that kind of fun stuff. It's all there if you want to find it. But if not, you can watch this video, hopefully find out a little bit more. This is talking about hotkeys in Dash Trader Pro and also this new feature that I just figured out today thanks to one of my subscribers who commented about hot buttons. So first, I'll talk about hotkeys, which hotkeys I'm using and how they work, etc. So my first hotkey I have set up is Command 1. So why Command 1? I don't know. It feels good for my hand and my keyboard. So that's the big thing for me. I want to make it comfortable and easy. That way I can get the muscle memory and just, you know, no matter what, I can just easily go to that Command 1 there and not have to look at what keys are there and stuff like that. So Command 1 is my buy. I actually buy 1,000 shares, one set above the ask. So why that? So if you watch the videos, you see that normally I'm buying on these breaks. So buy on that ask here on the level two, you'll see like right here, 340. If I wanted to buy at 341, I would have my order ready. I would watch for those last shares. There. And if I'm watching that and I see those shares getting smaller and getting eaten out here on the, on the time and sales, I can see, you know, 40s getting eaten out there. So I'm gonna look to buy the last shares there on 40 and I can use my limit order to get in one cent above the ask. If I buy when it says 340 exactly, I'll get the 340. The order goes through and it jumps up to 344. I'll have my limit order there at 341 waiting to get filled on a little bit of a dip. And that's kind of just the way I like to do it. Also, I have it set up so I can sell instantly. So for selling now, I have set up so I have my command two. So I have command one, command two. So it's pretty much, I have my thumb on the command button and then I have my two fingers up there, one and two. So then I can click one or click two to sell. So if I command two, it's gonna sell my position at the bid. Say if I bought it at 340 and it goes up to 348 and I see the bid there is saying 348, I'm gonna click that command two. It's gonna get me out with the limit order on the bid. So if it's at 341 and all of a sudden I click command two and it jumps to 345, I'll get 345. Pretty cool feature there. I can kind of sit there quickly, be able to go in and out. I, you know, in the past I've had some issues not being fast enough and that's the big thing with these momentum breaks is being fast, getting in and out, quick profits, taking loss when you have it kind of thing. Also, another cool feature I've set up, I have my command Z. So if I do put a limit order through and it gets stuck here and it doesn't want to fill, I can cancel that order with command Z. And if I feel like some shit is about to hit the fan and the world is going to end or, you know, some stock is plummeting and I want to just get out panic style, I can click command X and that's going to get me out for my panic. So it's pretty easy to set hotkeys up actually in Dash Trader Pro. All you do is go up there to the setup menu. If you pull the command keys up there, you can actually go down here. You can add new item. You'll pull up this hotkey script builder. So the cool thing I like to do is just go here to order script wizard. I can put buy. I can say I want to buy a thousand shares. So I'll just put a thousand shares there in the shares or I'll put I can put actually half of my buying power. So showing that half, half of my buying power there, leave symbol blank, look at the price. I can put it to the ask and I can put my account and you see the account there and you have your route. So I'm gonna put limit market or stop order and I'm gonna always use limit order, sometimes stop limit orders. And uh, there I go, have my limit route, have my limit order set up there. And then over here I can put day plus and quantity, I'm gonna show zero on level two and down here for mode, I'm gonna put load and send. That way, if I want, this is gonna be instant. So if I want to have it so it has a confirmation, I can put it to load. It's gonna load in the montage and then I'd click buy or sell or press enter to send that order. So that's pretty simple. Same thing if you wanna do the sell, you're gonna change the buy to sell and then you change all these parameters and you can set this up for all different features. You can set it up for a thousand, you can set it up for 2,000, 3,000, however many shares you want. You can also, like I said, do the buying power half or 95 move it around like that, or to see your full buying power every single trade if you wanna get wild. So that's the hotkey script builder, pretty simple. It's all there. You just have to mess around with it, kind of figure it out. Like I said, I had a little trouble today. Going back to the main menu, you see everything set up. Like I said, I have my weekly chart, my five minute chart, my one minute chart, time and sales, my montages here, and then the stuff shows up here with my orders and all that fun stuff. So down here at the bottom, pretty cool new feature, hot buttons. What in the world is a hot button? So hot buttons are pretty cool. So you're actually gonna, to set this up, you're gonna right click on your montage and just go here to layout configuration. And you're gonna add hotkeys to 
the window style. You're gonna actually add all this stuff over level two, level one, and trade hotkey over to your window style, and then make sure you're gonna press okay, and that's gonna pop up down here. Nothing will actually pop up. So you'll actually go down here to the bottom and you'll add row. You'll actually click add row, and then you go button number, and you're gonna go one, and that's gonna add a button there. So you can see right now I have buy 1,000, I have sell position, which is, these are just my hotkeys that I've just put here into buttons in case I ever have an issue, or if I just need to click really fast, or if I brain fart, or some for some reason, I can't get out, I don't know. But I have a setup here, pretty cool. That way, you know, if I need to, it's there, it's visual. I can see, okay, buy 1,000 quickly, I can sell position bid on there, and I have my oh shit, which is gonna be the panic button. So I can just dump my shares into the market. So, pretty cool. Once you set that up, you're gonna go to add row, add the button, and then you're gonna edit there, and you're gonna copy and paste your script here, change the name around, set up your hot button just like that. Pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Maybe you think it's a total waste of time. If you're using hotkeys already, there's no point in using hot buttons, but I know some people are also visual people. They like to have the buttons there. If they don't want to actually use the hotkeys, it's pretty cool to set this up so you have that on the montage already. You don't need to mess with any of this stuff. You can get in and out quickly and fast and have everything set up, predetermined, ready to go. So hopefully this helps you guys. If it doesn't, there's a lot of other people out there who can explain it better. I am no pro by any means. This is really my first attempt at using the hotkeys. I've been using some hotkeys, moving some shares around and uh, price stuff like that, but now this is the first time using the actual hotkeys to get in and out fast. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get an opportunity to really test out the hotkeys and get a big runner, get in and out fast. If I need to, now I have it set up and hopefully it all works. If it doesn't, it's, it's my fault because I'm not setting it up properly. But make sure that you test these out and you know make sure everything's working before you go and start your trading day unlike me, thought it'd be a good idea to buy a large position and then click the sell hotkey and it didn't work. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, just leave a comment, you know, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It is really helpful when you guys interact with these videos. If you don't enjoy the video, I'm sorry. Leave a comment saying how much you hate my face or whatever you wanna comment, but in general, it's cool when you guys interact. I love seeing different tips and ideas for people and also seeing kind of what people are doing with their own trading software. Thanks for watching the video.